Good afternoon, candidates. Good afternoon, sir. Today, we'll have a practice session of PPDT test. Now, before we start that session, we'll, you know, I'll enumerate the essential points of this test. You all know it is a very important test. If you do not do well in this test, you could get screened out on the very first day. Now, what is the format of this test? The first part of this test, this part is conducted in, this test is conducted in three parts. In the first part, they will show you a picture on the screen for 30 seconds. You will have to capture the details, annotate the box on that sheet of paper, write a title and write a story. All this for that entire part, you will get 5 minutes time, 30 seconds to see the picture. 30 seconds to annotate the box and 4 minutes to write the story. After this, your sheets are collected and in the second part, you will have to narrate your story, the story that you wrote on that sheet of paper one by one. You will have to narrate. For this, you get 45, 45 seconds to 30 to 60 seconds. That means maximum you can take is one minute time. This is the second part. In the third part, you will have to collectively discuss each other's story and reach a common group story and narrate it to the panel. For this, there is no, no time which is defined, You can, but generally it takes 5, 6, 7, 8 minutes, anything between 5 to 10 minutes. So this is the format. Now what we will do, first I will show you two pictures. In the first picture, you do not have to write a story, have a look at that picture. And I would ask you to generate an idea in your mind. What is the idea that around which you can write a story pertaining to that picture? And when I show you the second picture, you will actually have to write that and carry out that narration and discussion part. So are you all ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so I will show you two pictures. Now have a look at the screen. Okay, this is the first picture. If this picture were to be given for your PPDT test in that actual SSB, what is the idea that you can generate? What is the story that comes to your mind? Okay, see, in this picture, you, when you observe this picture, what do you find? There is somebody, one man who is standing, who looks to be educated, and there are eight, nine people, right? They look to be children. The setting looks to be of a rural area not a city setting, it is a village setting, right? What is the idea that you can generate? Ki this man, by dint of his hard work and preparation, he was able to clear a government exam. You can make him anything. You can make him an IS officer, you can make him a police officer, you can make him an armed forces officer. It is your choice, whatever you want to do. Now this guy, because now he is employed, he is in a comfortable position, so he is, what is this man thinking, the man standing, how does he think? He says, look, I have been able to make a mark for myself, I have been able to establish myself. I am employed, I am in government job, I am earning money. Now it is my responsibility to motivate and guide children of my village. If I could do it, you can also do it. And this is precisely what he is doing. Whenever he comes on leave to his village, he gathers children, he motivates them, he tells them, gives them direction, how they can do well in life, how they can get employed either in the private sector or in a government job. And because of his motivation and his effort, very soon, gradually every year, two, three, four, five children of his village started clearing various competitive exams. And earlier when there was no representation in government, most of the people in this village were unemployed. Because of his effort, this man, you can give him any name. Within two, three, four, five years, this village became a role model. Everybody used to, well, at least 80, 90 percent candidates started clearing various competitive exams and they got settled in life. Now, if you write this story, you all know there are three requirements in PPDT. The first requirement is the story that you write must be connected to the picture. So, is the story connected to the picture? Yes. Sir. Yes. Number one. Number two, the story must be practical and doable. It must be within human capability. So, does it indicate 
to you that it is practical? Yes, sir. Very much so, because if this man is employed and he wants to train and motivate people from his village, that is absolutely practical and very much doable. So it is meeting the second requirement also. Now the third requirement, which is the biggest requirement where a lot of candidates falter. They are unable to think of that, that third requirement. What is it? It must benefit not just one person, but the larger section of society. So is it meeting the third requirement? Yes. Sir. yes. If every year two, three, four, five people are clearing various competitive exams and getting selected, getting employed, obviously it is meeting the third requirement. So this is what you need to do. So now, having got this idea, we'll carry out a, an actual test. I'll show you another picture and let's see what story comes out from your mind. So are you all ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. So, okay. This is the picture. I'll show it to you only for 30 seconds and then this will screen, the screen will go blank and then your time starts. Okay, your time starts. You'll have to append the box, write a suitable title and also a story. And then we'll go to the next part, the narration part. Let's have your story starting from case number 13. As I proceed from the story, a male director of 23 years of age. He usually visited in weekends to his village. Once he was sitting near the band, he noticed that it's a very calm place and full of natural beauty, which is not seen in the city. So he went to the Sarpanch and asked for the development of the same place. And later it was developed and some posters was kept in the city through which it was introduced to the city people about its beauty. Later on people starts urban from urban area to visit the same place. In the last, as a result, the economy of the village was boosted because number of stores was launched and people got employed of the same village. As I perceived from this picture, around 24 year old boy, and uh, he is an engineer uh, from civil. He one second. One second. One second. As I as I assume from this picture, Ram is a twenty four year old boy. He is an engineer. And uh, he, he, he belongs to a poor, uh, poor village where roads are not good. And uh, when he returns, when he returns from his job, he, he thought uh, he thought to take an initiative to uh, to build the road. Then he uh, went to Sarpanch and uh, discuss about uh, discuss with him about the uh, pro process. And they. Then he writes later to the video, and after uh, after that video to, uh, took the initiative and the tourist destination and he sent them up. So the same I think we can go to the point of chest number thirty, as it is the scene of B side. But we can also see that the man expression is he is so cherished and his expression is so good. So we can say that he has done something good in. So we can also consider this. Two, three people took more than a minute to narrate. I did not stop you, but in that actual test, if you exceed that given time, 60 seconds, they will stop you. If your story is complete, hui, to that is your problem. They will not allow you to speak beyond 60 seconds. So restrict it to anything from 45 seconds to 60 seconds. Some of you have speech flaws. You need clarity in your speech. 
got to develop clarity if your voice if if your speech is incoherent the panel will view your performance adversely okay now a lot of people describe the picture why do you have to describe the picture and the age in in this picture i see a man walking along a beach or whatever and he's 40 years old you don't have to you just narrate your story you've got only 60 seconds use that time to narrate not to describe the picture okay why do you have to imagine things just frame your story on the basis of what you see in the picture somebody imagined a boy drowning i don't see any boy drowning kisne bola tha ye somebody where do you see anybody drowning here kon drown ho raha hai nobody is drowning so why are you assuming things that would make your story faulty just look at the picture on that picture on the basis of what you see you need to write a story okay so this is as far as the narration part is concerned as far as, as the discussion stage is concerned number 1 you all have to take active part in that discussion if you keep quiet or speak very little it will go against you you have to be an active participant okay when you are speaking if somebody is made a point and you are countering him you don't have to keep looking at that candidate you when you are speaking you have to look at that entire group but you don't have to look at that panel the panel is not part of your discussion they are the assessors so don't look at the panel look at your members of your group okay what is that you must maintain decorum is very essential fortunately this is a small group but in ssb the group would be a little larger you only 10 people there it may be 15 maybe 18 people and there everybody would want to make his mark create an impression so sometimes it becomes something like a fish market so please if somebody is speaking you must hold on as soon as he stops that is the time when you can begin to speak don't interrupt him okay now don't be timid in speaking you wanted to make a point and then you stopped when these people have stopped stop speaking you must say i have got a point which is different from what you people are discussing you must not restrict you must not hold yourself back beach ko develop karana it is something it costs a lot of money even the sarpanch does not have funds ki pure beach ko develop kara de kara sakta hai nahi chhota mota uske funds hote hain but for chhota mota kaam developing a beach and creating it a big as a big resort entails a lot of expenditure crores of rupees probably he'll not be able to do that to aap agar aisa karte if i were a candidate this is what i would do ki gaon is not connected to the to the city to either get a road constructed go and meet the mp or the mla through his funds please request him to get a road made so that this village gets connected to the city और यू कैन एज्यूम ये तो बीच के इसके नदी के जो भी है जो वाटर पॉइंट उसके साथ चल रहा है लेकिन रोड है एक ट्रैक है कच्चा लेकिन पैदल इसलिए चल रहा है क्योंकि कोई गाड़ी नहीं है तो बस सर्विस आप चला देंगे दिन में एक बस भी आप ये प्राइवेट बस भी चला सकते हो इसको ये भी आप एक तीसरा पॉइंट ये भी कर सकते हो कि दिस मैन इज अनएम्प्लॉयड एवरी डे ही गोज टू द सिटी लुकिंग फॉर जॉब्स बट इज नॉट बीन एबल टू फाइंड वन eventually he decides ki if i am not getting any job let me do do this thing let me run my own you know transport a, let me buy a mini bus use it to ferry people from my village to the city and back i'll be able to generate employment for myself and i'll also be able to help my villagers kis kisi ka shehar mein kaam hai baithe aa jaye aur kaam karke aa jaye din mein teen char chakkar lagayenge i learn a lot of money और गांव वालों का भी काम हो जाएगा तो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू अप्लाई योर माइंड एंड फ्रेम अ स्टोरी